Hey there, YouTube friends, Mass Bandit here. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today, and I am jamming along to this intro music. I dig it. Welcome to a very special early access uh, first look at a new game called Project Hospital by Oxymoron Games. Thank you, first off, thank you so much to Oxymoron Games for giving me the opportunity to share this title with you. It will be out. It is scheduled to release the end of October, right around Halloween. And um, this is really cool. Um, at first, I was kind of like, meh, about the whole, uh, the whole hospital thing, but uh, I, I took a stab I, and, and I saw some stuff about it and it looked pretty cool. I thought I'd give it a give it a whirl. I know there's a, another hospital game out there, but we're going to focus on this one, Project Hospital. I've done the two tutorials. I've kind of fooled around a little bit. We're going to get started building our own. We're going to try. We're going to see what happens. We're going to jump right in. We're going to play for a little bit longer than we normally do, closer to 30 minutes rather than 20. And uh, if you enjoy and you want to see more, I can I can do some more. Um, I, we only have this preview until the 22nd of August, so just a, about a week. A little under a week to get this done. Yeah, so uh, if you want to see more, you got to let me know quickly so we can get back in here and I can make another one for you. So let's go into Empty Field. We're going to see what happens. I've done very little fiddling around with this. We'll see. All right, we are in, in, in. We've got a little parking lot here, isn't that adorbs? Cool. All right, let's see here. What are all these things down here? Insurance companies and departments and budget and statistics. and So right off the bat, 2D kind of style going on here. Let's start building right away. So we go to our build mode. I want to build a foundation. I do. All right, so we're going to... We're gonna start building this way. We're gonna build, I can't build right there. Okay, cool. We're gonna build this. We'll go 15 by 20 for now. And that's probably gonna be fairly large actually. So let's plop in some walls. And so I go here. I like to give you the option of either building walls or building rectangles. Let's just build a rectangle. Actually, let's not do that. Let's make a outside rectangle. We've got different colors, patterns, and such. What? We're going to go ahead and... Oh, it won't let me build it there. Why not? Oh, yes, it will. Okay, cool. Some different views. We can have all of our doors up. Oh, it's the interior. Oh, no, 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 no. I want the exterior to be that. Is there an easy way to repaint? I wonder if I have to then come in here and... Oh, I wonder... Let's try this. Let's see if we can do this. So we're going to learn together. Because that's kind of ooky, spooky. There we go. Let's try just a single wall. Maybe a single wall will make a difference. Yeah. All right. Cool. So I guess we do have to do single wall first. That's fine. That's fine. Let's just get rid of all this right away. Are we going to get reimbursed? Probably not. The good thing is, according to the email that I received, um, there will be no... Um... Come on. Okay, there will be no um, budget restraints in this. Like, we might hit zero, but it's not going to do anything. We're free to kind of play around as much as we want. So now let's go in here and let's actually build it out here. Click and drag, it pops up. Click and drag, it pops up. Click and drag. There we go. And click and drag. So there's our walls. We can knock out the front walls. Kind of like The Sims. If you've played the original Sims, like I'm assuming most people watching me probably have. So we need to pop in a door. So those of you over here. And I like these sliding doors. Those are pretty cool. We're going to put a sliding door right here. Nifty galifty. <laughs> and let's put in some flooring. Uh, flooring options. I like hardwood. Well, let, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's do our rooms first. So we do that. Foundations, furniture, prefabs, management mode. How do we make the rooms again? Do, 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 do. How do we make the rooms again? Got to figure that out.
<laughs> dynamite everything. Shoot. Oh, there we go. Ah, okay, cool. So, down here we have an emergency, intensive care, general surgery, and radiology. We're going to start with the emergency, but it's really going to be more like a, um, more like a, um, general practitioner thing. So can I, okay, I'm going to stay there. Can I get out of there? No. Waiting room. All right, let's build a waiting room first. That would, that would make sense, I would assume. We can go, let's make it not too big. Six by six seems like a, a fairly decent waiting room. There we go. So we got our waiting room. The cool thing is it tells you right away that's what it is. I'm also going to pop a restroom over here. Let's pop a restroom over here. Five by four. That'll be fine. Missing equipment. It tells you right away that it's not really going to work. So our waiting room is here. We could put a GP over here. We're going to put our GP's office, general practitioner, over there. And that's all we're going to have for now. And what we can do is we can add a hallway and all that kind of stuff. But let's get started with this so you can see what it looks like when people start coming in. Um, reception, we don't necessarily need right off the bat. Sets priority for critical patients and directs them to the right department office. We don't, we're don't. we not going to have critical patients right off the bat, I don't think. So let's go back to our build mode. And if I just click on the room, what's really cool is if I just click in the room, it tells me what I need. Uh, we do need some walls, though. So let's do that first. Let's put some walls in. Now here... Uh, I want something a little different. I think we're going to go, what's this? Aluminum panels. No, thank you. Uh, I think I want the pattern, that one. We're going to go with that one. Let's make it orange, because why not? So we're going to make our waiting room be, now you're not going to see it really all that well in this view, but that's okay. I'll show you what it looks like in just a second. There we go. So if I pop up the walls, there we go. That's what our hospital is looking like at this moment. Okay. Our clinic. We'll call it a clinic. We'll call it a clinic. Um, I can actually delete this wall. You don't need to have walls separating, which is actually kind of cool. Although, no, we'd want the patient privacy, so never mind. We're going we're gonna to stick with it. <laughs> we're going to put that right there. The only thing I found that's kind of frustrating is I cannot rotate the actual view. I'm stuck in this view. That's the only thing. That thus far, I either haven't figured out how to do, or unfortunately you can't do, which is a bummer. So we're going to do that. We're going to do tiny white tiles, or medium white. Let's do medium white tiles in the bathroom. And in the actual office of the doctor, we're going to make, with the orange, we're going to make kind of sea foamy green, because that's like one of those colors you see a lot, I think you see a lot in hospitals. All right, let's actually do these individual rooms. So let's do the GP room first. The stuff here that's kind of lightly orangey red are things that need to be in the room. Or orange are things that need to be, be f or the yellow are things that are going to be needed for one of the red things. For example, the PC needs to be on a desk. Like that makes sense. So we're gonna plop our desk in, uh, rotate it around. Gonna put our desk right here, actually, I think. No, we're gonna put it there. Uh, let's put our door in so I know where I'm going with this. Um, we're gonna put one of these doors in, a window door. Or no, it should probably not be, shouldn't it? Probably not, probably not. Let's go ahead and just put in a white door then since we don't have much of anything else to put in right now. Okay, I could put it right there. I can't control which way the door opens, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, we're going to do that. Door there. Let's go back to the room. So we've got our desk. Good. It goes white. That says, okay, it's in there. You're good to go. We're going to need a PC. So let's give him a PC. Going to need a printer, apparently. Let's put the printer on the desk. So he's got his little he or she, whatever doctor we hire, has got their thing. Office chair. Office chair. Doo -doo -doo. It goes right there. All right, so we got our office chair in there. What else does they do they need? They need an exam table, all right? Can do that, can't go there, but it can go there. Let's put the exam table in the back here. That'll be good, we'll put it right there. Uh, biohazard trash bin, gross, or a biohazard trash bin. Which one? I think I like the red one better. It's where all your sharps go. <laughs> if you've ever been to a hospital and you've gotta get rid of the uh, needles and such what. Now, some of these things sit on a counter, so we'll need to put some counters in. Disinfectant, that's your hand sanitizer. Let's put that in 
Actually, what we're going to do, I'm going to do something a little different. Let's do cabinets with doors. Let's put one in there. And we're also going to need equipment. Let's do a wall-mounted equipment unit. Cabinet with drawers. So now we're getting a little more um, creative with it. It's not necessarily. So we need a sink. Let's do a kitchen sink. Usually at the, at the doctor's I go to. A lab? Can I put a lab? No. I don't want this sink all by itself. I think I want the kitchen sink. Because usually I see the sink inlaid. Uh, at, at the doctors I've gone to. So let's put that there. Uh, CPR, what's a CRP scan? It's quick blood test measuring con concentration of C-reactive protein. Oh, well, there you go then. So it's like a centrifuge? Is that what that's supposed to be? Or like, is it a bl that's pretty neat though. We still need an examination lamp. Let's put a medical light in. I like those, those are pretty cool. So we can put one. <laughs> that's so cool. Look at that, right there. <laughs> Cool. The only thing left that we absolutely need in here is an eye test. And we could put that against the wall there. Uh, audio meter is used to determine a certain level of one's hearing. These are better ways, I guess. Equipment table, special table for various equipment. Well, oh, that's cool. Let's put one of these in. I like that. Let's put the table over here. There we go. And on it, we can put an EM. Can we put? No, we can't. Can we put an. Quiet, cat. My cat is meowing at us. Um, let's put another cabinet in. Um, where can we squeeze that in at? We can squeeze it in here. I like that. That'll be good. And let's put the... We have already the auto... Right? We have an auto meter. I don't know why it's telling me I don't. Where is this going to go? Where... EMG. Where does it mount? Hmm. What does it need? Let me just see. Oh, it has to go on a big desk. It could probably go there. But we're out of, it can't go there, huh? It's not deep enough. So the counters aren't deep enough. You actually need the table. Interesting. Okay, well, can I move the table? Let's move the table. Come on, table. Come on, table. There you go. Oh my gosh, this cat, I swear to you. It will not live to see the end of this episode. <laughs> oh, it's not going to work there? Is that what that means? Maybe that's what that means. Let's just go ahead and, how do I get rid of it? Let's just, no, I don't want to bulldoze it. I want you to delete it. Come on, let me click on it. It won't let me. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, this isn't right at all. MG can be placed here. It needs to be attached to another object. All right, I want to just get rid of it. Just let me get rid of it. There we go. Just click delete, dang. That's why it's, why you gotta be so difficult thing. Right, let's try this audio meter again. Let's put it there. I still don't know why it's yellow like that. I don't understand. Does it need a chair? Maybe it needs a chair. You gotta sit down at it. No. It tells you where you can put them though. T oh, you do, oh, two people need to be sitting. Oh, you need two people sitting, one sitting. That's the thing you put the headphones on and it does the boop and you gotta raise your hand when you hear it. Also, we got our eyes and our ear test over here. Oh, that's cool. Okay, 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 I see, I see. Uh, as you determine certain levels of health for one's muscles and motor neur neurons. All right, so let's put the square table. Let's put that in over here. So this is gonna be quite a hefty, uh, thing here oh it can't it can only go that way huh it, it won't it won't let me ro okay it can only go that way fine it looks like we're gonna need some stools here oh we need two okay so that's not gonna work we need to move the whole thing all right at least i'm understanding it better now can i move the table no i gotta delete it all right delete let's move let's move the table over pop it there Put your stool there, and we'll put another stool there. And then when I plop this guy, it should be just fine. Yeah, oh, cool. Neat, 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 neat. A spirometer. What's that? I don't know what that is. What does that do? Spirometer measures ventilation, volume, and inspired and expired air. Oh, it's a breathy thingy. Should I put another square table in? Can I get away with it? Hmm, I have no idea. I can, I'm can. i just just throwing stuff down at this point. Um, let's see. What if I put <laughs> a rogue cabinet over here? 
Will that work? And then can I put the spirometer there? You probably need to sit down there too, don't you? Yes. And again, it won't. Okay, where do the chairs need to go on this one? Oh, it needs to go on just here. Okay, just there. All right, that's fine. Look at these little, all these little stools. <laughs> uh, so we got, ooh, what's this? Outdoor objects, coffee tables. Let's put a trash can in, a trash bin. There we go. We got a trash bin. Um, detail. Decals. What's those? Oh, nifty. You can put them on the wall. Look at that. That's neat. I like that. So you can mark what your things are. Got it. Good. All right. Uh, I need another chair. Just a plain old chair. There we go. Let's put the chair in for our poor guy here. Uh, yeah, and we'll move the garbage can to, well, let's put the chair, um, hmm, they will put the chair there, I don't know if they can still use everything, all right, so there's our GPU office, we've got our exam table, we've got all the bells and whistles in here, I kind of like that, what's our decor, a cacatus, oh, look at a cute little cacatus, mm, potted plant, we can put it in the corners, that's nice, poster of digestion, <laughs> Ew, digestion. What, it doesn't work in that area? I don't understand. Okay, whatever. What else? A poster for eye, heart, liver, skull, tennis elbow, veins. Wow. Info poster. Let's just put a general info poster in there. So there you go. There's our GP office. Let's work on our uh, waiting room. So we're going to have the TV here that kind of tells you, I guess, who's next. Is that what this is? Info TV? Info TV works together with a cue machine in a waiting room. This provides system provides smoother patient flow. Ah, so we need a cue machine. The cue machine will go right there. We need some benches. Let's add some benches for these fine folk to sit. And maybe we can even add some decor. This I like the level of detail that you can go in with this. I think that's really nice. Uh, this might be a little too close for comfort, but we're going to give it a whirl. Do we want a water dispenser? Can I squeeze one in? Not there. I can squeeze one in over here, though, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, oop, that's not where I wanted it. But okay, we'll move it over there. Water dispenser is going to be there. And we don't need a vending machine right now. That's fine. All right, that's that. They're ready to come in and sit down and wait for the GP to come out and get them. Let's check out the bathrooms. What do we got? We got a WC. That is so not American. <laughs> we call it a turlet over her in America. Water closet. Almost said water cooler. It's a water closet. I mean, I know what it is. I just think it's funny. And there's no distinguishing men and women, I guess, uh, in this. So, one cool thing, though, check this out restroom walls. You can ha decide how big to make your bathrooms. Isn't that crazy? Look at this. It's actual urinal walls. And you could pop in. And they even have the matching door. So this is like your handicapped one. And then boom, boom, boom. Oh, we got to put the other walls in. That'd be really awkward. <laughs> That'd be really uncomfortable. All right, let's put these walls in. Shoomp. Shoomp. I think that one's already in, actually. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's check it out. There we go. We've got toilets. <laughs> Need some sinks now in our restroom. Sink. We'll put a few of them in there. Come on. There we go. One, two. Oh, we need a door. <laughs> I almost forgot a door. Three sinks and... Do we have a hand dryer? Hand dryer. One, two, three. Oh, it can't go there. Can it go there? One, two. Th no, it can't go there either. Oh, okay. We'll put it there and we'll get rid of this sink. Delete. Okay, so three sinks. Can I put another one in? Probably not another hand dryer. Can I put another one in? No, it won't let me. Okay. Let's squeeze a door in here too. Another white one. There we go. So there's our bathroom. I guess we're set up. Yeah, and we still got all this room over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what there is to do. Game mode. Oh, we need to hire some doctors. <laughs> that would probably be good. Let's see. Let's find the staff mode. Let's hire some people. 
open clinic at emergency. Treat a patient. Treat one patient per day at general. Let's see here. Departments, emergency, okay. Insurance companies, budget, statistics. Where's the staff? Management mode, wee hoo, wee hoo, wee hoo. Department budget, department dress code, clothes department. Oh, hire new staff. There it is. Okay. So we need a doctor, clearly. So let's hire a doctor. Look at our doctors. We have a 73 year old female. Level is a fellow. I think that's good, right? So fellows are like full blown. And then it looks like interns are the lowest level. And residents are in the middle. So let's go with the resident. Let's. Oh, look at that. <laughs> let's plop her into her. Look, she kicks. Let's plop her into her office. Hospital is now expect accepting patients. Cool. First insurance companies are automatically contacted. Well, let's see. What do we have here? So we have 10 uninsured people. Okay. This sends unlock objective. So we treat a patient. We can get. I see. We can get this cheapo care. If we treat one patient per day at general surgery department, we can get abdomagut. <laughs> well, I love these insurance names. Those are pretty cool. So it looks like we can just deal with uninsured people now. Okay. Nifty. All right. Let's play. Um, <laughs> there we go. Game mode. Play. There we go. Our doctor is sitting. Got to wait for some peeps to show up. Hope we get a sick peep soon. Come on, sick peep. Sick peep, sick peep. Let's speed it up. Do, 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 do. Oh, someone is in. Oh, cool. Let's see what happens. Okay, so he goes into the doctor. Hold on. Stop, 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 because this is cool. We click on the doctor, right? No, let's click on the patient. We'll pause it so I can tell you what's going on here, because this is really neat. So our patient is Sarah Moore. She's been examined. She has six symptoms. The doctor has gone ahead and done, um, an in she's currently in an in interviewing the patient to get as many hints as she can. We, the patient has a headache and a fever. Let's continue with the diagnosis. Let's see if we can find anything else out about this. And up here is what it could possibly be. Okay, so then up pops malaise. So that means she either has shingles, Oh, God. 41% chance of the shingles, 30% chance of common cold, 29% chance of flu. But again, there's still three hidden symptoms that can tip this. So let's see what happens next. Because this is, I think this is so neat. Okay, rash on torso. Then it has to be. We don't need the s symptoms anymore. The simple thing, rash on a torso and the malaise and all this, means that 100% shingles. There's, there's nothing else that we can suggest. I mean, we can. I can show you what happens, but 100% she's got shingles. Let's just keep pressing forward here. So there you go, she's done. Now there's gonna be a physical examination to try and uh, figure out some more of the two hidden symptoms. Okay, so we've got all the symptoms now, stop. Widespread painful rash has been suppressed. Oh, why is it suppressed? Rash on torso, fever, headache. So that's all tenderness. So there you go. It's true. She has single shingles. Now we're going to give her antivirals, antipyretics. Cool. And a numbing ointment. Cool. So this woman has been cured. Pretty easy, right? Except you get to control. See, it says controlled by doctors. I can control and diagnose the patient. So here the doctor is given the act of the treatments. There you go. Got her meds, got her med ointments, got her pills. She's going to be on her way in just a second. There we go. Printed out the script, gave it to her, and sends her on the way. Insurance company cheapo care can be contracted. Okay, we'll get there in a second. All right, so she's going to call the next person in. We are going to control it this time. So in comes, who's this guy? In comes Frankie Williams. Frankie Williams has 11 hidden symptoms. Okay, so we're starting with an interview. I guess that's the standard. Uh, let's control it by the players. Okay, we have a fever. What else we got? Malaise. So it might be more shingles. Right now, the chance of shingles is pretty high. Okay, okay. Oh, so shingles is gone. She doesn't have it. She's got fatigue, or he's got fatigue. So now, and a headache. He's probably got the flu. 
we're going to push forward and do if we're going to do a physical examination because see if he's sore and stuff like that and then probably take his temperature too oh no he's already got a fever we don't have to do that so he's already got a fever we don't need to take the temp Ooh, serial logic we can't do that because we don't have a technologist or a stat lab <laughs> so we're giving a, a, a physical here to mr mr williams he's getting examined what's this mean germaphobe zero wash his hands three times more oh wonderful procedures have finished the patient is waiting for you to plan other examinations or select a diagnosis okay well it's pretty clear he has influenza let's go ahead and say he has it now we can't change that once we say you've got the flu there is nothing we can do so we can give him antivirals so we're going to give him some antivirals and we're going to tell him to rest and that's about all to relieve from the pain and drugs sold in pills are used to relieve a fever reducing a body temperature we can give him those too so we're going to give him those and send him on his merry way and we'll get some money for that. And so that's how it works. It's really neat. Um, this is super easy because we've only got one doctor. But when you see an entire hospital, um, I can't imagine how crazy that's going to be. So let's keep pushing forward here. And let's check out one of the things that the company um, t sent me, the game company sent me, was use the insurance companies to progress. So let's check those out. Cheapo care, let's add them. So if we add them and treat 15 patients in a day, uh, we will, okay, so they're gonna send us even more people. And our reward is a stat lab. If we treat 15 patients per day. Okay, so we're gonna have to do that. So finished, last is the patient is waiting for you to plan on their treatment or send them home. So let's go to, uh, that's it. How do we send home? <laughs> We did all that, but not how do we send him home. We gave him the meds. Um, patient's balance, like, oh, there you go. Send the patient home. You are good. Goodbye. You're good. Cool. All right. So <clears throat> next order of business, let's expand. Let's add another GP so that we can um, progress a little faster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the build mode here. Oh, it pauses it. How nice. The game gets paused. I'm going to scooch my water cooler over to here. Is that? Yeah, we're going to scooch it over to there. Okay. We're going to delete the, or demolish those walls. Let's get rid of these guys. And this one too. There we go. And that one too. And we're going to create a little hallway here. Uh, if I go into, I think it was here. Was it here? corridor let's add a corridor so all i gotta do is drag it and we add ourselves a nice little corridor here so let's add a corridor let's <clears throat> say corridor a few more times corridor 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 <laughs> go back to the build menu corridor doesn't need anything it doesn't need anything to exist i don't think uh let's give it the same wood floors let's give it some better walls oh no let's continue with our wall pattern here it was this one, I think, and it was that color. Yeah, all right, let's shoo, shoo, shoo. Now, what's really neat also is you have these prefab rooms. I can plop down a prefab general practitioner's office, which I think I might do just for fun here. Oh, it's just too big. Six by six? By six? No, oh man, I'm off by one. Darn. Oh, it's not going to be the right direction anyway. All right, so we'll slap one. Slap one. We'll slap one together real quick. We'll put one right here. She'll come out, or he will come out. Whoever. Cool. Let's do it. So um, I go in here. Yeah. Let's make a GP's office. We'll add another one. Five by five. Let's make it six by five. Inaccessible. That's fine. Put a door in. Door, 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 white door. There we go. Put it there. Let's do the same things that we were doing. Okay, so we need a desk. Let's give him this desk. Ooh, that's a little, little more modern. Give him that desk. Yeah, that doesn't matter where. We'll put it there again. Um, give him an office chair. Yep. Give him a computer. I like how it's a PC and not a Mac. <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> An exam table, we'll put it in the same place. We'll put it back here. Let's put it, yeah. I'll put, that works fine. We're just going to do the exact same. I wonder if I could. <gasps> could you copy? Oh, it'd be great if you could copy a room over. That'd be nice. I don't know if you can. You might be able to. I don't know. It's a str I bet you you could. I just don't know how. Um, wall mounted. Why? Why? Oh, there we go. I just wasn't right. Okay. Sink, 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 sink. Uh, our sanitation. Where'd the sanitation go? Oh, do I not have it in this one? <gasps> Did I not add the sanitation thing? Oh, snap. That's not good. It, it wouldn't let me build it if I didn't. Would it? Or do I not need it because... Oh, it's probably because I already have a sink. I don't necessarily need it. Probably. I'm going to guess that's why. We'll put it by the door. We'll have it. Just It's, it's fun. Another, uh, let's do the examination lamp this time. Do that. Uh, let's do the CRP scan again. And we can add another cabinet over here. Right there. And we'll do, uh, what was on that one? The odometer that needs some chairs. We'll add some simple stools. Boom and boom. We added a table over here. Uh, where are you, table? Office desk, equipment table. No, we didn't use the equipment table. We used a square table. And we added to it this wacky thing. There you go, and we added two more chairs. Boom and boom. This is probably the most inefficient way you can build a room, but hey, whatever. I'm a noob at this. <laughs> Lay off me, I don't know what I'm doing. Spiralmata, cool, and plop down a stool. There we go. So it looks like we are good to go in this room. Looks like we have everything. We need a, oh, we need a chair for the poor guy to sit in. Or gal, the sick friend. All right, sick friend, you're gonna sit right there and tell the doc what's wrong. Well, we could change the colors too. That's cool. I haven't really been paying attention to that. Nifty. Oh, an eye test. I wonder why that's an established, you absolutely have to have that in every room. That's kind of funky to me. I don't, I don't understand why you need that in every, Room. Oh, there we go. We'll put it right there on the wall. Whatever. <laughs> oh, we could put it there, too. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that'll be good. Can I put a pot of plant there? No. Okay, I can't do Oh, sorry. I didn't turn my volume off on my phone. All right. Let's put some uh, actual flooring in. I forgot to do that. It was that seafoamy green stuff, wasn't it? Medium tiles. Light colored. Let's just do medium straight up. Let's get that seafoam cooking in here. Oh, yeah. There it is. There's that sea foam. Let's make this one the same. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that yucky sea foam green. But look at this. It's starting to look kind of cool now. It's busy. Like, if, I, I could see how if you don't place everything yourself, you'd get kind of lost with where everything is located. Awesome. All right, we need to hire another doctor. So let's go here and hire. Do we still got the same ones? Oh, we've got a fellow. Should we get the fellow? No, let's let's get the No acute diagnosis advanced diagnosis. Let's spend the money since it's not gonna cost us anything anyway. Let's get the older gentleman and we'll put him here. D Frank Miller. Alright, so we got Frank Miller the doctor. And there we go. Cool, so we can have double the people now. Love it. What was the ding dong? Procedure has finished for a diagnosed patient. Let's get our procedure for the patient is waiting for you. I sent him home. Yeah, there you go. Bye-bye, buddy. It's all good in the hood. All right. Cool. It could speed it up a little bit more. So let's see. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Pause, 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 pause. Okay, good. Control by doctors and... Yeah, control. I, I guess this guy's... This lady's controlled by doctors, too. Kate Jackson. Control by doctors. All right, cool. We're going to let the doctors do their thing. Look at this. There they go. Everyone's getting physical. Oh, that's what it is. It's the next patient. Oh, that's cool. It actually functions. That's neat. It's not just a... Do we need one for each doctor? Oh, I think we need one for each doctor because he's not getting it working for him. Yeah, he's got to come out. She doesn't have to. Look at that. Oh, they're using it. That's so cool. 
This is very neat. I like this a lot. I wish I could zoom in further. Ooh, I want to get up and up all up in there. We could zoom way out, but man, I want to see what's going on in there. So when I check, let's check real quick. Trait 15 patients, 10 patients. Do I get to see like what's going on? Six out of six. Cured total patients. Six out of six. Okay, cool. On day one, no less. Excellent. So at this rate, I think we'll be okay. We might get our 10. That's cool. What else could we build? Um... Let me see. Well, we can do the cleaning room and all that. We can't do a stat lab yet. Oh, what's this? Dependency tree. Oh, it's like your tech tree. Medium or low hazard goes right to the waiting room. GP's office. And then they'll either go to the... Oh, they'll either be hospitalized or they'll go to get x-ray. It was like a flow chart. Look at this. Waiting room. GP's office. And if it gets really bad, you end up in uh, ICU. <laughs> That's cool. Department dress code, we can't unlock that yet. But what if we go into the other ones? I can't build any of these rooms yet. Okay, so I gotta complete the insurance level objectives. And I can't do any of that, and I can't do any of that. All right, so we can only do the emergency clinic for right now. And I can't do anything other than what we're doing. I can add, we gotta do these two. We could do some staff stuff for the next one. We can hire some other staff. Like if I check, here we go. I can hire some nurses. I can hire a tech, lab technologist. I can hire a janitor. That'll be good. We'll, yeah. So, and if we make a janitor, we gotta make a janitor closet, which is pretty fun. We could put a janitor closet like right here. That'll be neat. So hopefully you've enjoyed this. I've actually, I'm really surprised with how much I like this. I was totally poo-pooing these hospital games, but <clears throat> I'm very glad I followed up on this one. And it's lots of fun. I like the style, too. And I like that this one is based more in reality compared to um, Two Point. I understand the charm of that one, too. But I think this is the one that I would prefer to play. Um, I like the fact that I get to be the doctor if I want to be. That's kind of cool. And it's kind of like a puzzle game and all that. Like, it's easy here at first. The developer said that the symptoms and, the, uh, and all that, the diagnoses are still pretty basic. And that's coming later on. But as far as a game goes, it looks pretty good. I love the details. It's very cool. So hopefully you've enjoyed too. Uh, if you have, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you want to see another episode from this little title in the next few days, go ahead and let me know in the comments so I can go ahead and make one for everyone. Um, Tell me your thoughts, what you'd like to see. Would you like to see this on the channel on a regular basis once it comes out? You know, all that stuff that comes with one of these kind of uh, introduction videos. So this has been your first look and my first look at Project Hospital, which is super awesome. So, all right, guys, have yourself a great day, great night, great whatever, and I will talk to you real soon. Bye-bye, everyone.